Have you ever seen one of those emergency exit signs and thought, will this actually lead me to safety during an emergency? Well, I was wondering that. So over the past few months, I tested the most extreme emergency exits I could find to see if they will really save you in an emergency. Starting with this everyday emergency exit. Now to test this, an alarm will randomly go off and we will have to get across the room and through the emergency exit as fast as possible. So you guys do your thing. I'll pull the emergency exit alarm. Don't pull the emergency exit You sign. need to signal an emergency, Drew, for an emergency exit. Just say emergency. It's more fun to pull. <laughs> if you want, I have a mic. Yes, I will absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Three, two, one. Each emergency exit will be rated on a scale of one to five stars. One being this probably isn't safe, and five being the safest option. I'm gonna give that a solid five stars. I can see why people have those emergency exits. All right, now I'm really gonna go pull the alarm. Nick, don't pull the alarm. Now, although this first emergency exit was pretty normal, they're only gonna get more and more extreme throughout the video. So this next emergency exit is probably one of the coolest ones I've ever seen. This old man built an emergency slide in his apartment to get down the stairs as quick as possible in case of an emergency. So I'm gonna try to build this emergency slide in my house. You guys guess, how do you think this is gonna go? Um, broken tailbone. <laughs> so we spent the next 30 minutes building an emergency exit slide to go down our stairs. Oh. And after putting all the pieces together, there was one problem. There's a gap at the bottom. So you're gonna have to like plant your feet as you land. Actually, I got something for that. Bro. The only thing is, right, like some of these don't have supports. It's okay. I support your decision. To <laughs> so I added a few more cushions for extra support. There's no way this is a good idea. And it was time to test it out. Why am I scared? Oh. Dude, putting that pad there to save my butt crack. It's just this one piece right here that works. If we can get that to stay, or maybe I just gotta hit it faster. You're wild. Put this blanket on it. I should be able to fly down this thing. So to put this to the test, I'm gonna take the slide down the stairs and Nick is gonna just take the normal stairs to see which one is faster. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> After that went flawlessly, it was time to rate it. I'm gonna rate this emergency exit. Two stars. Here's why. I was able to make it down the stairs and beat you, but it's not getting the rest of the stars because oh, oh my God. on to the next one. This next one I'm super excited to try and that's because it's a superhero emergency exit. Superheroes are notoriously known for, well, creating their own emergency exit. So this should work, right? Yeah, or you'll get the biggest wedgie of your life, so. All right, my goal, to grab the top, just like a superhero would. Three, two, one. I'm not gonna lie, that was sick. I'm gonna honestly give that a solid three out of five stars. It's not good down here. Now that I've tried enough emergency exits on land, it was time to try one underwater. They make these emergency life vests that when you're stuck underwater, you can pull a cord and it'll inflate and safely bring you to the surface. So I bought one. There's like this emergency cord, which I think you just rip it and it expands. But the one I'm gonna test, you gotta use this little CO2 cartridge in here. And the second you jump in the water, it's supposed to detect the water and go off. So I read all the instructions on how to install the CO2 cartridge in the vest, but I still had my doubts about this method. Bro, I'm just gonna jump in with this. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't even wanna put this on. Oh God, oh man. Test one, emergency life vest. Please work. Three. I'm so scared. Three, two, one. Oh, 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 oh my god! It worked. It worked. This thing is actually super nice. I'll probably take this off because it's crushing my cheeks. Oh, I'm gonna honestly rate this five stars. If I was ever in an emergency where you had to do an emergency water landing or you were about to drown. These right here, the best thing you could use. And with a successful emergency exit, I decided to step it up to the next exit with a challenge. This next emergency exit will have two options to escape. One person will have to take the stairs in the house and one person will have to run and exit off the balcony. Safely, of course, YouTube. And whoever makes it to this green grass first will get the higher rating. We're gonna play rock, paper, scissors. The winner gets to pick which emergency exit they take. All right, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Awesome. Which one? I think one? I'm not gonna choose the, the huge drop. All right. Three, two, one, go. Oh my God. Oh. 
<laughs> that was such a high drop! What would you rate that emergency exit out of five? It's a good four. I'm gonna rate mine a two. It looked cool. That was about it. So this next emergency exit is either gonna work great or not at all. In some spy movies, they've been known to escape a building by climbing up the side of the building with suction cups. So I bought a pair and we're gonna test it out. What is that? Tell me that doesn't look like some spy gear. It's supposed to just stick this to the ground. Did I just get ripped off? Wait, should we try it? Yeah, I guess we can try it right here. Oh, yeah. You got it? Oh, what? Stuck That's like stuck. What? Let's test it in a real scenario then. I mean, that's on there. Feel that. Oh my gosh. Let's it's on there. Now I'm gonna try to climb just like they do in the spy movies. Oh! oh! Hit the wrong button. Both hands. How do you do it with one hand? You know, I haven't really thought that far ahead. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm up. Okay, this does not work like it does in the movies. I'm gonna give this one star out of five. <sighs> Very disappointed that those suction cups didn't work. But the next emergency exit, the only way you can get to safety is by going down the side of a building. Firefighters sometimes have to rappel down the side of a building to escape a fire. So my plan is to escape from a window from a 12-story building. But before I can do that, I had to get a few tips from a professional. The support has got to be all the way back here. The weight is in your butt. Okay. And with the quick lesson going well, I had a quick look at where I was going, which wasn't very helpful. Oh my god. But there's only one way to find out how good an emergency exit is, and that is by testing it out. Oh my god. Time to do it. God. This was by far the scariest exit method so far. I was literally rappelling down the side of a building. Hey man. Hey man, how we doing? Good, how are you doing? You know, just rappelling down a building, man. But luckily, just a few minutes Whoa. later, I made it to the ground safely. Oh my God. I'm honestly just gonna rate this two stars because, well, this was terrifying. All right, this next emergency exit is a lot more doable than the last one. Rope ladders are used for vertical climbing in areas where a normal ladder wouldn't really work. So I bought one. Look at that. All right, now that I got it, there's one thing I need to do. Can I repel off your balcony? Um, one second. What are you doing? I'm just taking out a life insurance policy on you. <laughs> a life insurance policy? Yeah, I get everything when you die. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Cracking and falling apart. Yeah, this thing's gonna crumble, bro. Anyways, let's try it. I'm gonna go here. Barely fit. So to really test this, I need to put it in a real life scenario. So I placed my emergency exit sign and went inside to sleep until I would hear the emergency alarm. And just a few minutes later. I was so scared I was just gonna break off. I'm gonna give that like a solid four out of five stars. It's a quick, it's efficient. The only thing is I could easily see like someone missing one of those. With my confidence up from the previous emergency exit, it was time for my last and final emergency exit and that was an exit out of a plane. So I just hit up one of the best skydivers in the world, Sean McCormick. Sean McCormick is sponsored by Red Bull and has jumped out of an airplane over 22,000 times. From airplane jumps to even riding a snowboard during a lightning storm. And he is gonna be the one helping me test this emergency exit. Ready to go? I'm ready. Wait, where are you going? Just gotta get a quick measurement. What are you measuring? Just about 90. For what? I'm gonna make sure my gaming desk can fit in the master bedroom when you die. <laughs> and just a couple hours later, there I was with the legend himself, suiting up ready to test the craziest emergency exit of them all. And after Sean gave me a few tips, he also had a surprise for me. I'm gonna put my hand in front of your face and it'll start blinking. That's gonna be the indication that it's time for you to deploy. You're gonna need to reach back, take this golf ball, pull it and deploy the parachute. I'm deploying the parachute. Yeah. have to deploy the parachute. And with that being said, I'm literally putting my life on the line for these videos. And all I ask is for you guys to hit that like button and subscribe. It's really cool getting to see how much you guys love these videos. And with the airplane flying as high as it could, it was finally time to actually jump out. The feeling I got when I jumped out of this plane was definitely something you will never get used to. I was literally flying through the air, but the challenge wasn't over. I still had to land safely in order for this emergency exit to work. And just a few moments later, 
And as I made it to the ground safely, I was very confident in my rating with a solid five stars. Comment down below which emergency exit you like the best.